Hey guys, Lauren Southern here with Free Domain Radio. No, <laughs> just a bit. I'm changing my name. That's it. I just be known as FDR to be confused with the sitting president. All right, got it. System. <laughs> Get it all out. Oh no, that's a take. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am here with Stefan Molyneux and we have a very exciting announcement for you. We are going to be doing a speaking tour in Australia. Uh, we want to address some of the huge issues there of mass immigration, progressivism, the cultural issues that are facing most of the West and just the complete and utter disappearance of our culture, our families, all of these issues that, of course, even though I'm not even convinced Australia is a real country and it's in the middle of the nowhere, uh, of the nowhere. Damn it, Lauren. <laughs> I would right, suggest the dissing Australia <laughs> during the actual promo. <laughs> the future of Australia hangs in the balance. The largest migration in human history is underway and no one is allowed to talk about it. Don't you dare speak or let's do it. Hang in. <laughs> I think I'll try and build the drama a little bit more. <laughs> hey guys, so Lauren Southern here with Stefan Molyneux, and we have an extremely exciting announcement. We are going to be doing a speaking tour in Australia. Australia is in a really unique position right now. They're at a crossroads, kind of the same one that America was at during the Trump election of are they going to embrace mass cultural change, mass immigration, and become this progressive lefty hellhole? Or are they going to go a different route? And Stefan and I thought, because Australia is seeming to be a new refuge for South African farmers, for a lot of people who still want to thrive and live in Western civilization, it may be a refuge for the rest of us as our <laughs> countries <laughs> to road into cultural Marxism and nonsense. So we would love to come there and help you guys make that decision of which path Australia will take at this turning point. What, uh, what, what are you excited for in Australia? I'm excited for, for it all. I mean, you know, bugs the size of dinner plates. Who's going to want to miss that? Uh, sunscreen that basically is a suit of medieval armor that's required for my ostrich egg forehead. But uh, I'm really, really looking forward to bringing the kind of information that is often lacking in the mainstream media and in a lot of people's conversations, information about mass immigration, immigra information about Sorry, I just picked that up. Let's try it again. No, no this was really good, though. Damn it. <laughs> no, but... Hey, guys. Lauren Southern here with Stefan Molyneux, and I have a very exciting announcement. Stefan and I are going to be doing a speaking tour in Australia. And Australia is a fascinating situation right now because they're really at a crossroads, about the same one that America was at during the 2016 election. Will Australia embrace mass immigration, cultural Marxism and progressivism, or will they push back against it all and go their own way? Stefan and I have watched as Australia has become a refuge for white South African farmers and kind of as the rest of the West derodes into ridiculous mass immigration and cultural Marxism, Australia could really be a safe haven for us if we can save it, I think. I do. I don't think we can save it with the word derodes, though, because I don't think that's a Damn word. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's fine. No, you know what? When do we ever do this, right? I mean, this is totally new, right? It's fine. De Rhodes. I like De Rhodes. it. But it really should be a word. De Rhodes. Go on and on. Um, and also, I, I would say your instead of there, because Australia, if we say there, we're trying to get people to buy tickets right, in Australia, right. so I'd go more with direct. But no, we'll, uh, you know. De Rhodes. What, what, am I, what word am it I thinking of? It was derides and devolves or devolves, something. Devolves, yes. Of, there you go. Devolves. You go. That's the one I was looking for. All right. We'll take another shot. All right. Erodes. That's erodes. what I know. Yeah, it devolves in erodes. It should be a word. It totally should be. All right. Wait, erodes. where's that light here? There we go. Okay, all right. Learn. Get it together. <laughs> it's all right. You know, we want to be having fun in the promo. Otherwise, nobody's going to have fun in the audience. Hey, guys. Lauren Southern here with Stefan Molyneux. And we have a very exciting announcement. We are going to be doing a speaking tour in Australia. And Australia is a fascinating situation right now. Much like America in the 2016 election, they're facing a crossroads of which way will they go? Will they embrace the multicultural mass immigration progressive lefty route or will they go the route of protecting their borders and defending their culture? Well, as the place becomes the place, why would I say the place? Why wouldn't I say Australia? Should we just say the uh, crime-ridden hellhole, the, uh, the crime abode of ex-criminals and current criminals? And... <laughs> 
<laughs> this one, I've got it. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun making these promos. This is the tour that they're in support of. I wanted the font to be big enough that you could read it on your cell phone. They say it's not possible to make fonts bigger, but there we go. So you can look at the details about this uh, great speaking tour at axiomatic.events. That's axiomatic.events. These are the dates, of course, July 28th. So this is the tour that these promos are in support of. And as you can see, the fonts are big enough that you could read them probably on your smartwatch. Can you make a bigger font? I said, they said, no, it's not possible. So axiomatic.events, that's where you want to go to find out more about this. Uh, there's a picture of Lauren and myself. One day the media may like me enough that they'll use a picture like this rather than the other pictures they use, which is me kind of panhandling on a street corner, apparently auditioning for the role of Gollum left out in the rain for about a month. And you can look at the, actually the promo that made it, the promo that finally came together, which actually the mainstream media has been kind enough to include in their stories about the speaking tour, some more details about Lauren and myself. You want to check out this Farmlands documentary that Lauren has put together. Very, very powerful stuff. Just 15 bucks a pop. And the tour tickets, you can click right here to get the tickets. So Melbourne, Friday, 20th July, Perth, Sunday, 22nd July, Adelaide, Thursday, 26th July, Sydney, going to be lit, Saturday, 28th of July, Brisbane, Sunday, 29th of July, and we're working on Auckland, of course, I want to do it from the Shire, so we're still working on that, just kidding, but we're still working on that, so there are the general admission tickets, there's the early admission, just a little bit more, if you want to get a jump on the good seats, there's a meet and greet, which we are looking forward to enormously, a VIP, meet and greet, and dinner, with myself and Lauren come and break bread with us. It is going to be a wonderful, wonderful time. So we're really, really looking forward to seeing everyone there. Get your tickets now. The ticket sales are going very, very well. Don't delay. Don't let it pass you by. Come and join us. Break bread and help save the world.